This is a Rascal Balance scooter. This scooter has a 450 pound weight capability. This is an oldie but goodie. The reason we have it here is because it's practically new and it also has a shopping basket. So that shopping basket will hold four paper bag grocery bags. So and it's a heavy duty basket. It sits right in the front, you can put all your groceries in here and it removes easily. And the basket is tied right to the frame. This bar right here goes right to the frame of the scooter. So I'm going to take the basket off for now so you can see your basket right here. So this is called the Rascal Balance. It has a 450 weight capability. Uh, this scooter is an oldie but goodie, as I said, practically new condition. It was used maybe six months. Uh, it's been sitting for a while. The nice thing about the Rascal scooters is that it's got two suspension. It's got a spring suspension in the back and also a leaf suspension you would see on cars. So these scooters have a great, great suspension. It's a three-wheel scooter, but it has anti-tip wheels. You can see the anti-tip wheels right here in the front. If you turn these, you'll see they light up. These are anti-tip wheels, and they move sideways, too. I don't know if I can make it move sideways or not, but you can see. So there are two tip wheels in the front, so if you, so you get into the turning radius of a three-wheel, but the support of a four wheel, so it's very good. This scooter also has what's called a seat lift. So with the seat lift on this scooter, you would just hit the seat lift button right here, push it down, and then use your throttle right here to make the seat go up. Of course, you want to turn the key on. You want to turn the key on first. And make your seat go up. So it has a five inch seat lift. So the nice thing about this scooter is when you exit the scooter, you can lift this that gives you more room to exit. You also have a swivel seat. And I think you can still drive this scooter right here with the seat elevated. Let's see if it still drives. So it still drives with the seat elevated. <coughs> the tiller right here is adjustable. Let me bring the seat back down real quick. And that's normal noise you hear there for that seat, but that's perfectly normal. So you'll... So if you need to know the height, when you start, the bottom of the seat is about 23 inches, and just add 5 inches to that, you'll be at 28 inches when you're raised all the way up. So this, this is called the tiller right here. This can be adjusted with this little handle right here, so I can adjust all the way down here all the way up to here, and this is how you tighten it up, is right here with this handle right there. This scooter also has, this way, it also has headlights, so you can see, you can see the headlight in the front, and you can see in the back, you can see the tail lights in the back, and I'm not sure if it has flashers or not. Oh yeah, so it has flashers for both sides. And there's also a light under here, you can't see for the floorboard, you can see my hand. There's a light that lights up the floorboard, so if you're using it at night time in your home, there's also a light for the switchboard. So you can see, you do have a clock on here. It doesn't need a battery, but there's a clock on here. And the clock is real easy, it removes right this way, and you can insert the battery in the back. Um, there's hazard light, there's your battery gauge telling you how the batteries are doing. And you've also got a, a speed gauge, 1 through 10. And you have, your, you have your seat lift button, if you want the seat to go up, you push this button, then you use your throttle right to make the seat go up and down. Also horn, and you have forward and reverse over here. And as I said earlier, this is a swivel seat. Also, the back of the scooter, if you look at the back, if you need to charge this scooter, okay, you just take your charger, plug it right into the wall, the charging cord goes right in here, plug it into the wall, and it'll charge itself. If you need to put the scooter in neutral, there's a lever here. If you lift the lever, all of a sudden you can push the scooter, okay? If you turn the power off, it makes it a lot easier to push, watch. See how easy it is now? When you, leave the, when you leave the key on, 
it puts resistance on the motors. This is back in gear. So now you're back in gear. You've got a bumper back here. You've got anti-tip wheels under here. You've got the seat on this scooter. Let me turn the power back on. Flip it back around. The seat is only 18 by 16. 18 wide by 16 deep. So I'm not getting a bigger seat for this. This is the way it is. Even though the scooter has a 450 weight capability, uh, the seats are kind of small, but that's the way it is. The arms flip up. And also, the arms can also go out. So if, you are, if you're a large person and you think the seat's going to be too small, you can always expand the arms out. Or you could also take, like a lot of people do, stick the arm right out. Okay, on both sides. You can take them out. So, this scooter will go five miles an hour. Great suspension. It has a shopping basket. It does have air tires for better ride. It has the anti-tip wheels in front. The five-inch seat lift the built-in charger in the back, the headlights, which I'm going to turn off right now. Turn the lights off. Uh, it has uh, the adjustable tiller. Uh, very nice, very nice scooter. So if you need a scooter to go shopping or with a really good suspension, you need the seat lift, this would be a really nice one. the rascal balance with the five inch seat lift that goes up just like this. This is your five inch right now. And this is adjustable so when you exit you can take this out. The seat also swivels either way. I'm going to bring the seat back down here. Very smooth on the concrete. We have the basket that goes with it as you saw in the picture. Uh, so give us a call, it's a really nice one. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.